Hello everyone, this is Steven here. If I'm itching, I'm sorry. I've got some itches tonight. I don't know why. Anyway, and um, I'd like to talk to you about marriage. And I've got the Bible here. This is the Bible that my father gave me, and I, it's an old, old Bible. And I want to tell you about marriage. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, also I want to talk about sex. In my opinion, sex is supposed to be between a husband and their wife. And their wife. And I believe in the marriage, the M word. And marriage is very important. Especially when it comes to having kids and everything else. I don't believe in having sex before marriage. In fact, I was a virgin when I got married. And I expect people to do the same thing. And I believe in the word of God. And I don't believe in a, if you're a true Christian, I don't believe you should have sex until you're married. And these are my opinions, and this is, and um, I'm going to read you out of the Bible. <laughs> Probably not going to read you the, the scripture, but I want you to look this up on your arch, on your own. Okay, marriage is described by instituted by God, which is Genesis chapter two, eighteen to twenty-four. And described by, which is honorable for all. Hebrews 13, verse 4. And it's permitted bond, which is Matthew 19, 6. And intimate bond, which is Matthew 19, verse 5. And the means of having children, which is Genesis chapter 1, 27 and 28. And it's dissolved by death, which is Romans 7, verses 2 and 3. Means of having sexual love, and that's what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, Se uh, sexual love. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 18. <coughs> Cent centered in love and obedience. Ephesians chapter 5, 21 through 33. Worthy of Jesus' presence. John chapter 2, verse 1 through 11. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel that if you're not getting married and you're not a husband and wife, and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't believe in homosexuals getting married. The Bible says it's wrong. And I believe in this, and I have every right to believe in this, because this is my personal belief. I don't think you should have sex before you're married. I already said that already. And I think you should be, you know, should wait. Now, when I was growing up, my father used to tell me, and I've never forgotten this, that when you get married, you're to be single, and you're not to run around on your, on your girlfriend and everything, and you're supposed to stay single. Until you get married. And you're not to touch each other in any way sexually of any kind. Because it's wrong. And I believe in this. And here I am. I'm a Christian. And I don't have any biological kids of my own. And I'm telling you to the people out there that that are trying to get yourself in a, in a, in a situation where you possibly might be getting married in the future. And I really think you ought to abstain from having sex. And the reason why is because sex is better when you're married and you and you and you can stay married. You don't want any children coming before you're married. Now I realize here in the United States that 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 having sex before marriage is a common thing, but in the eyes of God, it's wrong. And I think you should stay married. Now, what do I think about a wife? What is a wife's godly duties? Now I want to explain that to you as well. I'm going through my this biblical encyclopedia and it means a lot to me about the having a wife and why I think it should be done. Why you should be, be married to your wife. And a wife is a girl, not a boy. A wife is not uh, a man dressed up like a girl. A wife is a woman and you should be married to a woman, not a man. It's wrong. It's moral. And I believe this is the way it should be. And if you want to know about your wife, and man, it's taking me a little while longer than I think it should. Here it is, wife. 
Anyway, it talks about a wife. Described in the Bible as a helpmeet. Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 to 20. I crowned her husband. Proverbs 12, 4. A good thing. Proverbs 18, 22. The weaker vessel. 1 Peter 3, 7. Uh, the wife of his youth. Malachi 2, 14 and 15. Uh, a companion, Malachi 2, 14. I'm hoping that's right. Duties of the wife. She's to obey her husband. Now, this is something you girls don't want to hear, but it's the truth. You're to obey her husband. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. To revere her husband. Ephesians chapter 5, 33. Love her husband, and you're not to cheat. Okay? And a, a wife and the husband is not to cheat either. You're not to cheat. And that's um, 1 Timothy 2, 4. Learn from your husband. Boy, that's going to hit some knock noggins right now. 1 Timothy chapter 3, 11 and 12. Be faithful. Remember, wives, you're to be faithful to your husband. And remember, husbands, you're to be faithful to your wives. Proverbs chapter 31, 11 and 12. To love your children. 1 Timothy. I guess it's T-I-T, which I'm not sure what it is. I guess that's Titus 2, verse 4. To be chaste. Uh, I think this is Titus uh, 2, 5. To be the keep, keepers of the home. 1 Timothy 5, 13. Duties to, of the husband towards the wife is the love. Ephesians chapter 5, 25 through 28. To honor, 1 Peter 3, 7. To provide for, 1 Timothy 5, 18. To instruct, 1 Corinthians 4, chapter 14, 35. Protect, 1 Samuel 31 through 19. And not divorce. Now you remember this. You're not to divorce your wife. Period. End of story. 1 Corinthians 7, verse 11. Now I ask that you go read these up. And the only reason I believe that, uh, that you can get divorced is for two reasons, actually. One reason is if your wife or your husband committeth adultery. And the second is abandonment. If your wife or your husband abandons you and, and doesn't have anything to do with you anymore, you don't divorce if he beats you. You're to go work that out with your preacher. He is the... And if he does beat you, you got to go over and call the police. But you don't divorce him. It's not a considered abandonment if you go call the police on him. And I'm going to tell you, husbands, you are not to beat your wives. It's wrong. It's immoral. And wives, you're not to beat your husbands. I've been married a long time. I know. And I'm telling you, you're not to do those things. So don't do it. And the husbands, you're not to go run around with a mistress. You're not to have a, a woman on the side. It's wrong. I'm telling you. You're not to have, let's see here, what is it called? Uh, what do they call it today? They have a word for it. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's a word for it. I, I can't remember what's the, the, the second girl or something like that. Um, she, But they have a new name for it today. In my day, they used to call girls, they used to, uh, the side girl. And side chick. side chick. And a side chick, that's a, in, in my day, they were called whores and prostitutes and uh, harlots. And I'm telling you, you husbands, don't you dare cheat on your wife. Your wife loves you. You're to love her. I don't care what goes on in your home. The only reason that you're not the, the only reason for divorce is for two things. Like I said, uh, 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 adultery. And that doesn't mean you go out and commit it. Because she did it. It's not right. Two wrongs don't make a right. And the second is, is, is abandonment. Those are the only two things I believe. That's my video for a day. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like. And remember, just remember to obey your husband and, and wives. You're to be decent to your husbands and love them. And you see, and see you all later. Bye.